What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram. We're on the road to 70K, hopefully one day 100K. Actually, before we get into this video, I do wanna talk about something why I'm starting the video, sitting down in Texas when I'm really in New Jersey for this video. Um, we'll get into the wisdom teeth removal, all the funny stuff in a second. But um, there's just something I wanna talk about. I feel like it takes a real man, or at least someone who's trying to be like a real man and grow up, um, take on some responsibility to own up to some stuff that he might have done wrong. I wanna own up to some stuff that I might have done wrong and just kinda of talk about it with you guys for a second. I was reading Sush's subreddit. This is a dark place, I'm not gonna lie. There were just a couple things that I saw in there and, and some of it really hurt. Some of it made me feel um, a little bit better, but some of it really hurt. And after kinda of taking a step back and thinking about why that might have hurt um, to read or to see in there, I wanna, I wanna address it. Um, to you guys, especially in the beginning of the video so you guys see it. So someone commented, been really enjoying Marco's vids lately. Used to think he was cringe and annoying, but his recent videos have been pretty good, pretty great. Especially his vids regarding, his vids on regaining motivation to train, um, going to start watching more of them, t uh, TBH. Someone said, I stopped watching his videos because of all the cringe jokes he was making, but I'm glad he's moved on from that. Definitely gonna start watching again. Someone said, he's genuinely a good guy. He stopped doing all the cringy sus jokes and I really like his thrifting content too. Someone said, dude, did he actually? Because I had to stop watching because I couldn't handle that shit anymore. Same, I stopped watching a minute ago because of it, but seems like he doesn't talk too crazy anymore. And then someone said, dude's always popular positive and hilarious. Doesn't feel like he's shoving product placements down our throat either. Then someone said, yeah, I stopped watching him because he used to say, that's wild for me to say after some of his jokes, which made that joke unfunny. If he stopped, I'll definitely check out more of his vids. Someone said, same here, love his energy. Um, there was a couple other things. Someone saying, anyone else watching, stopped watching fitness content. I stumbled across Sush and the rest of the Alpha Lane gang a couple months ago, but this shit is, going, is getting so boring and repetitive, it's insane. Always the same recycled content and video ideas getting recycled. At least Marco is trying a variety to get variety with sneakers or germ who turned into a motivational speaker, but the rest feels like one big ad and a generic gym content. Someone said, and then they said, I know the comments are gonna be like, nobody is forcing you to watch them, but I'm looking for some guys that can relate. Someone said, unfortunately you're right, something about fitness being recycled. I'm gonna own up to a lot of that and say, yeah, I do need to mature. I do need to not always make some sus jokes. Um, I've been trying really hard to cut that out. That's why in the last video when Jacob was talking pretty crazy, I was like, I didn't like those words didn't come out of my mouth. That wasn't me. I was kind of quiet um, because I, I don't want to portray that image anymore. Um, I do really want to um, make videos that you guys enjoy. Like, let's be real, I started YouTube because I wanted to make videos that people wanted to watch. I make videos for you guys. Like I make videos because I love making videos, but I also make videos because I love you guys. And I, I love the fact that some of you take enjoyment in watching my videos. And I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose something I love doing um, which is YouTube because I'm neglecting the, the people who I'm making videos for. I, I wanna ask you guys, any video ideas you guys have that you guys want me to do, let me know. Any people that you guys want me to do collabs with, well, let me know. Like I was texting Jack West, I fucking love Jack West. I love Jack West so much, he's such a fucking good dude. I was going through a lot, just personally behind the camera, I'm very busy filming and editing all my own videos for four months, it was hard. Like it was hard to put videos out. I was losing sleep, like trying to figure out how to fucking edit shit. It's hard, it's not an easy job, but, and I kind of neglected that friendship and I want to apologize because Jack is a fucking great guy and me and him are gonna link up soon. Josh, who lives with me, hopefully me and him are gonna make some more videos together soon. We've both been on just different schedules, but I, I want to meet new people and I feel like you guys would love to see me make some videos with people. If you guys have any requests, drop them below, DM me, comment, anything, any video ideas you guys have. I've been, I, I'm, I'm happy that you guys are liking the sneaker content that I'm trying to put out. Um, I have a video coming next week for that. The main thing I want to say is just, I don't want, I don't ever want to upset you guys and make you feel like I'm not listening to what you guys want to see because I make the videos for y'all. Like I love you guys. You guys changed my life. Um, YouTube changed my life. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. And I feel like I was, I was made for this. Like I feel like I've never felt like I've belonged. Like I didn't, I didn't have the best like high school experience and I worked a lot in college. I worked four jobs while I was in college. So I didn't really do that much while I was there. I worked a lot, I worked pretty much every opportunity I had. Um, and in high school, I didn't really, I didn't fit in the most. So I feel like I finally fit in somewhere. I feel like I'm finally doing something I love doing. 
And I don't want to lose that because I'm not listening to you guys, what you guys want to see. And it did make me feel good to see some of you guys sticking up for me in that subreddit. I really do appreciate that. A lot of the usernames are anonymous. Thank you to the people who were saying like, no, I really fuck with his videos. It's a positive dude. Like I just want to motivate people. I want to, I want to be that older brother figure. That's why I'm, I'm doing the sneaker con um, so I can teach you guys how to have a side. Show you guys that you don't need a lot to get started. And even if you guys don't want to resell shoes and you guys just want to learn about fashion or get into shoes in general, um, you guys can get really good deals on them. It's something I love doing and it's feel like it's something that I can teach you guys on top of just gym stuff. I'm gonna be like diversifying my content, but any ideas you guys have, let me know. I'm super excited for my bodybuilding prep to start in January. I've been taking the bulk really seriously. I know the real ones stick around to watch all the vids while I'm bulking. And like when I cut, the channel will grow again, but we're almost at 70K. I can never thank you guys enough for that. I never thought I'd see the day, I'm not gonna lie. I remember when I had 100 subs on YouTube and 20 of them were myself with different Gmails. But for real, I, I, I really wanna stress this. Like, I'm, I will put in the work that you guys wanna see me in order to earn the growth on YouTube and, and earn the support from you guys on the channel in general. Like, I never want you guys to feel like I'm, like, reading the comment that you guys said, I feel like, like it never feels like he's pushing products down my throat. Like, that made me really happy to see because I do love Anaka more than anything. Like Anaka, I, I, we're family forever, you know what I mean? But I never, besides videos where drops are coming out and I do like the sneak peeks, I don't wanna feel like I'm forcing stuff down your guys' face. I don't wanna be a walking billboard because um, I know that's not fun to see. I don't wanna see that either. And I, I kinda stopped doing the branded content because I didn't wanna just, like I don't wanna like always have an ad. So sometimes I'll do it because I gotta keep the lights on in the crib, but I don't want you guys to think I'm doing it and kind of selling my soul or anything like that. Um, I mean, I, I already said, fuck it to the monetization on the channel. We're gonna start using Annalie Choppa, Uzi, Drake, Playboy Cardi, Trippy Red, if people still listen to him. I just wanna make this channel the best that it can possibly be. And I wanna thank you guys for being along for the ride. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video after this. But um, yeah, I mean, you guys see me get my wisdom teeth pulled out. Hopefully some of y'all get to laugh. But moving forward, um, we will definitely be taking everything into consideration that you guys want to see and making the changes that you guys want to see made. What's up, guys? It's uh, Marco back with another video. We are back in New Jersey uh, for this video because your boy has wisdom teeth. I only have three of them, but I have to get my wisdom teeth removed because they're starting to bleed and hurt. And after I turn 23, it's like 10 grand to get them out. Because my mom's a teacher, I get that shit done for free before I'm 23. So I had to get home. But we are at a pollen gym. Um, used to work out here a lot in high school. So I'm gonna show you guys this gym. A lot of OGs to the channel know I used to work out here. Have some videos filmed over here. But Lil Bro's back. What's good? What are we hitting today? Chest. And? You. No, chest and what? Bye. Yeah. Bye. Going back to the chest and bicep split. This new tripod thing, I show you guys to set up for the camera. But um, before we go in the gym, if you guys have not already, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. We are on the road to 100K. Um, growth on YouTube's been slow recently. Uh, Instagram views have been pretty low um, because of some stories getting taken down, which sucks, you know, but it's, it is what it is. Uh, not gonna get discouraged. But um, the less views on my story, the less people get notified when I post a video. So if you guys have not already, turn on the little no notification bell. Um, it's like right next to the subscribe button. So you guys get notified when I turn on the videos or when I post new videos. But we're gonna go inside, hit some chest, and then tomorrow, your boy's getting his fucking teeth pulled out. Uh, so I'm gonna be high as fuck on drugs. So you guys can watch that. Is car locked? Yeah. Okay. Stop looking so at ugly. me like that. <laughs> All right, this is the gym. I'll show you guys a little tour. He doesn't understand when it's all me lifting the weight, he doesn't fucking rack it. What? I was gonna say midway through, he's just curling with one hand. <laughs> like I might as well have not even done that. It was literally all me moving the weight. This kid doesn't rack it. Jesus. Any bro, working out with my little brother, although I want him to be big, it's like working out with someone who like doesn't speak any language, like not even doesn't speak English. I'm talking like Working out with someone who's never heard words, like just like, almost as if you go back to Neanderthals and they go, oh, 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 that's what he sounds like, and that's the most about working out that he understands. I'm going home, bro. 
You don't even you live in a hut with your fucking cheetah skulls, your cheetah fucking skull. his fucking saber tooth tiger skull. Watch your tone, I'm too fine to be so alone. Not my kind, these are clone. I'ma get money no matter the cost. Having some water, I'm having some boats. Got that dope thing, that's your loss. He's a worker and I am a boss. Little baby, you out, you know you was wrong. You lying, watch your tone. I'm too fine to be so alone. Not my kind, these are clone. I'ma get money no matter the cost. Having some water, I'm having some boats. Got that dope thing, that's your loss. He's a worker and I am a boss. Never in my life will I ever buy another pair of these. They are by far the worst headphones I've ever used in my entire life. They turn off every single set. If even your shoulder lightly touches your ear, my hair touches my ear, anything, they just stop playing. I fucking hate Apple. Real thick, bitch, when I look at you kill. I don't write it, I say how I feel. Trying to think about how I'm a heal. You think you slick? You easy to read. Pack your bags and leave my keys. I'ma forget about you when you leave. Fuck your friend, but that'll be green. Send me a message, I left it on scenes. Like, keep it a beam. All right, so this one is the incline bench. Um, I got this one from Vaughn and Jack West, actually. Uh, it was Jack West video. Good friend of mine, I fucking love that dude. Um, he was working out with Vaughn at Zoo Culture and they were doing like F FS7, like the fascia stretch training. So it's seven sets of 10 with 30 second break in between. Uh, you don't have to do 10 reps straight, so. I would not recommend doing this every workout, but every once in a while I feel it's good to try. Uh, this is my first time trying it, so it's 10 reps, wait 30 seconds, but your hands have to be up the whole time. 10 reps, wait 30 seconds. If you don't get 10, say you get five, take 15 seconds or so, and then go back and hit the next five, and then take another 25 seconds. It's a long ass set, but I feel like it's definitely fucking worth it to give it a shot, so. All right, so we're gonna try 10 reps, 25 seconds, 10 reps, 25 seconds, all the way up to seven full sets, so 70 reps at the end of the set. Just gonna finish the chest, like pressing portion, we're gonna go flies. I'm too fine to be so alone, not my kind, he's a clone. I'ma get money no matter the cost, having some water, I'm having some boats. Got that dope dick, that's your loss, he's a worker and I am a boss. Little baby, you out, you know you was wrong. You lying, watch your tone, I'm too fine to be so alone, not my kind, he's a clone. I'ma get money no matter the cost, having some water, I'm having some boats. Got that dope dick, that's your loss, he's a worker and I am a boss. You did it before, you would do it again. You did it before, you would do it again. You did it before, you would do it again. I'm too fine to be so alone. Not my kind, he's a clone. I'ma get money no matter the cost. Having some water, I'm having some boats. Got that dope dick, that's your loss. He's a worker and I am a boss. Little baby, you. Alright, update on the teeth situation. I need to drink a lot of pineapple juice. There's 36 ounces in these like six, six ounce containers. Six times six, 72. Divided by no, two. 36. No, no, 72 divided by two. Yeah, but no, I'm thinking if I want to get two of these or not. Because 72 ounces of this would be insane. But 36, I think I could deal with. 100 calories each, so a quick little 600 calories worth of pineapple juice for dinner. Um, apparently, there's this thing in here. I think it's called like something. I, it's some vegetable, some, uh, not vegetable. <laughs> some fucking compound. Shh, screaming that. There's some compound or something in pineapple juice. It starts with a B, I think. But um, it like is the world's best natural anti-inflammatory. So hopefully it helps my knee and it helps my teeth. But I'm gonna, I guess we're going to go to the car. And I'm just gonna chug these motherfuckers and see if it helps tomorrow. Be copyrighted. I paused it. Listen to some Kodak. All right, let's give these a shot. I'm gonna just take two to the dome real quick. They're honestly not as big as I thought they were. That's what she said. It's delayed reaction. Oh my God, I can smell the pineapple. Ew, something about very concentrated pineapple is grossing me out. And pineapple is my favorite fruit. Chug jug. I'm gonna keep going. It's crooked. That now it is. Well, now it's straight. You are crooked. When you are crooked and you look at a, a crooked phone, crooked camera, it looks crooked. All right. We're gonna try all four of these as fast as we Have can. Loaded on the go. Wait, 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 start the timer. All right, three, two, one.
Put the empty one down. Twenty two seconds. <laughs> Twenty two seconds. Oh, wow. Yuck. Well, you just put that in your hair. Oh, I did. I just put pineapple, pineapple slobber in my hair. And your beard. We should tape all these together. Oh. Yo! <laughs> Snag. All right, I'll catch you guys tomorrow, right before I get my teeth out. All right, the morning has arrived. Oral surgery group. Your boy's getting veneers. No, I'm kidding. Get my wisdom teeth pulled out. Uh, me and my videographer. It's good. Introduce yourself. I'm Ronald Cruz. We'll get one last lick of your wisdom teeth so you can feel what they're like before they're out. Let me get. Are they in there? Oh, uh -huh. If you guys wanted to see my wisdom teeth before I lose them forever and you guys will never be able to see them again, you get one deep look in my mouth. I'll see you guys if I if I survive. If You're I'm gonna survive. This. Let's let's oh be positive. God. No right. no one has passed. <laughs> You're gonna be good. You're in good hands. Yeah, okay? this is actually a trick. Like I come to get my wisdom teeth out, they take my liver and kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> or you can call her um Ronald Cruz. Ron Ronald Cruz. Ronald Cruz. <laughs> Ronald Cruz. Okay. Can you call her so Ronald Cruz. We're gonna go over instructions with her. Can you tell her that when I woke up, I was seven foot five? And I grew a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want to be a basketball player, but I suck a basketball. Yeah, I can't throw it. I feel like biting my tongue off. Don't, you don't I have do to it? do it too hard, but you have to put enough pressure. So. If, I want, if I want to bite off my tongue, am I allowed to do it? I'm going to give you a drug. Okay. I'm going to give you a drug. I'm going to sell them, y'all. Here we go. Stand up. I feel like I can box. You can't, you feel like you can, but if you fall, then uh, it's gonna be on me. So. 18 divided by 4. Philly, okay. Philly, you can't do that. 18, you can't divide 18 by any number. <laughs> Yo, chill, calm down, bro. Actually, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I have to go all day. Um? So, this is your diet for the next few days. Dick and cheese, extra dick, hold the cheese. Ginger and coffee. Bro, I think you gained like eight pounds. No, I'm not eating anything. You don't want to eat warm soup and homemade. Who the fuck is Luke? Why are you touching my soup? Make sure you bite down, yo, bite down, bite down. Halo, top. Oh, stop. Who's mad ugly? I look better than you look even with fucking blood coming up in my mouth. <sighs> I'm going right back to school after this. I'm not dealing with you. I feel like I should shout it off. They said. Suction and that could dislodge the blood clots. Sip it slowly out of a cup. Blood clots? You want the blood clots so that you'll, you don't. So, so people die. Give me estrogen? No, no. Shh. <laughs> that's bad. Estrogen's yeah. bad. Bro, I can see the gyno peeping in. Stop. I'm a chicken leader. You need to stand up straight. Watch the curve. Get up straight? Yo, you're so much bigger than mom. <laughs> mom, come here. Mom, mom, come here, come here. Right. Look how much bigger he is, bro. I said right foot creep on walking with that eat him. This goodwill's beat, bro. Wait, let me wait, do let me just Alright, ready? That's terrible. You, that's not how you do it. Follow the weight around.
You know what's crazy? Three pounds? That's your max. <laughs> Skinny bitch. Skinny bitch. You look like a GTA character, bro. That no one wants. Bro. <laughs> Yo, you need that. You need that. You actually need those things. I would, I would just put them back in my mouth, actually. <laughs> Bro. You look like a crazy person. Oh, my mouth. Yeah, don't touch it, bro. You need the gauze. Dr. Luke said you needed the gauze. Fuck Luke. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What do you do for a living? <laughs> I'll beat people up. I'm an MMA fighter. Miata. Little BZZZ. They better move, bro. I'm not waiting. It's open. I'm gonna start this bitch up. Imagine you know, it just doesn't start. We should have started it with you in the seat. Now it's like you're like opening it and shit. Ugh. Oh, no squeal. All right, get in the car. I want bubble tea. All right, we're gonna see if this car sounds as loud as it does in my head versus actually in real life. He wants, yo, that dog wants to smoke. The other one's just chilling. Bro, that motherfucker wants to smoke. Yo, my boy Bentley will fuck you up. It is so hard to vlog with this camera right now, but that dog wants all the fucking smoke. That dude literally looks like he wants to bite my fucking leg off. But the other one in the other seat was just chilling. Yeah, his his little homie was just chilling right next to him. The other dude wants to bite my fucking leg. I got a Taro. This is what I order. If you guys live near a Gong Cha, I think they're kind of all over the place. I know there's some in New York, New Jersey. I think there might be a couple in Texas. I'm not sure. I know there's some in LA because I've gotten it in LA. Taro milk tea, 30% sugar because we're not fat fucks and light ice with the tapioca like pearls. This determines whether it tastes good or not. If I get it on the first try, it's gonna be a good one. If it's bad, I'm gonna fucking be mad. And ugly. That's a really good one. Yo, Marco Spitz. Shut up. I like the tapioca balls a lot. And then my brother got a milk tea. I'm not, I'm gonna try it when he, after he tries it, cause I'm not gonna be a dickhead and steal it from him. I was thinking of being an absolute <laughs> asshole and just stealing his drink. Like just. Like doing exactly what you're about to do. No, 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 I'm gonna open it for you. And take the first sip for me. It's not gonna be a good one, I didn't get it first try, here. Yo. You spilled everywhere. How is it? Better than that one. Nah, you're an idiot, take this garbage. Go pick that up. Right, I picked it up. Go pick it up. Go pick that shit up, you littering fuck. What? Littering's not funny. But yeah, this is my last day in Jersey. I've been like out of commission because of my wisdom teeth. They had to really fuck up my left jaw to get that shit out. I hope that clip, those clips were funny. I have not watched them yet. I want to spit a ball at you. I got rain. <laughs> <laughs> 